Hey, Marcus Conti, former sanitation enforcement agent, gone YouTube investigative journalist. That's what I am, right? Investigative journalist. Right? So um, today I want to talk about an interesting subject. This is something that that I uh, had uh, spoke about uh, previously, and uh, it's a it's a uh, these fake write-ups. Okay, so one particular <clears throat> write-up uh, that that uh, comes to mind. I'm going to demonstrate to you how what a fake write-up actually is, right? So, has anyone ever called you <clears throat> an asshole? Has anyone ever accused you of being an asshole? You know, like, you, like you're at the post office and you cut somebody off in line and you say, hey, asshole, I'm next. Or, or you know, or you're, you know, you're driving along and somebody cuts you, hey, fucking asshole, you fucking asshole, hey, you fucking asshole. So what, what, is, what is an asshole anyway? What is an asshole? I only bring it up because there's one particular supervisor in, 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 um, it, 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 the walls have ears in, inside of DSNY, and she's running around halls saying that, oh, Conti, yeah, yeah, I know him. He's an asshole. Huh? Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am an asshole. I don't know. What the hell? Is, I don't even know what an asshole is. What is, what is an asshole? By definition. Okay, here's the definition. I'm going to look at the definition of an asshole. Asshole. A stupid, mean, or contemptible, contemptible person. Let's hear how it's pronounced. Asshole. <laughs> asshole. Asshole. Okay, so asshole. We know what asshole is now. And, um, all right, so... Maybe I'm an asshole. I don't know. What the hell? I, I hear asshole. So anyway, so so I want to I want to roll the tape back uh, back in um, it looks like I don't know September 2015. One day I was out uh, on patrol. Oh, you know what? Before we do that, why don't we actually? Why don't we actually? I, I gotta. I, I he's he's here. He's here. Is he here? He's here. Uh, let's let me. I want to I want to introduce uh, to you a, a, a genuine asshole. Let, let's hear from. Let's hear from an actual asshole and see what an asshole is, and, and is not, all right? Hello. I'm an asshole, or anus, technically speaking. If you've noticed, I've been a little chafed lately, and we need to talk. I've got something I need to get off my chest. I'm starting to get pretty upset about how everyone calls each other asshole in such a negative term. Every time somebody does something that upsets you, they're immediately called an asshole. Each time you do this, I feel degraded and attacked personally. So to me, instead of an asshole being a negative word, it should be used positively. It should describe somebody who's doing the tough work for the good of others. Selfless. A hero. Wow, that asshole said, doing the tough work for others. Selfless. A hero. Wow, that's what an asshole means. He's a fucking hero. Damn, damn. Mr. Asshole, thank you very much, Mr. Asshole. Thank you very much, Mr. Asshole. So, so again, that's what, uh, it, it only, it, it's only important because, because it's not like, it's not like you calling your friend an asshole or there's a little road rage and you scream out the window, hey, you fucking asshole. This is a, a supervisor running around the halls of, of uh, power, calling someone who's in a protected, you know, proceeding that that was uh, wrongly fired, and is in a, a proceeding in the highest court in New York. She's running around the halls telling people, "Oh, I wrote him up. He's an asshole." <laughs> right, so let's look at the write-up. This is a, this is fascinating stuff. Maybe I am an asshole. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? I'm just an asshole. Right. So for every, first of all, for every hearing. For every write-up, right? I got, I received nine fake ones. They're all similar to this, and that they don't. When you when you look at them and you analyze them, you realize they're not actual violations of anything, but they're they're a they're they're a, they're a piling on a retaliation for exposing the quota. The big. Let me explain something to you. The big move, right? The big move covers the little move, right? What is the big move? The big move is the write-ups, the uniforms, the you must follow orders, the yelling, the screaming, the posturing, the the um, that whole that whole charade, right? But the little move is the quota. It's always been the quota. It's hide. It's like the football in football. You hide. You protect the quota. You protect the quota. You protect the ball, right? That's the quota. Don't drop the ball. Don't you drop the ball? 
uh, the other team advances on you. So, so for so here's one of the the write-ups um, by this particular person uh, running around the halls of power calling me an asshole. Uh, in the event uh, a disciplinary complaint is filed against you, you are a per this is right out of the rule. This is statement of rights, right? Right. This is they hand this to you when they hand you the write-up. They hand you the statement of rights. Now, in the event uh, a disciplinary complaint is filed against you, you are a and you are a permanent competitive civil service employee. That's what this title is: it's a permanent competitive civil service. Now, the New York City Department of Sanitation: the following rights are yours by virtue of the New York City Administrative Code and other applicable statutes. Right? You are entitled to a hearing on the disciplinary charges filed against you, and to be represented at such hearing by counsel or representative or certified union. Like I said, they, they, the unions are fake. CWA, 1182, they're all bullshit unions. They don't represent you. Or the, the new one is LIBA. I, I wasn't there for that, but again, you were, you're you entitled to it, but you'd, when this is happening, you, you, you call, they don't even listen. They don't even pick up the phone, right? Um, you are entitled <clears throat> to summon witnesses on your behalf at the di disciplinary hearing, so so there's the rules, right? They didn't, they don't follow the rules, right? They don't follow the rules. They're trying to they're sticking a knife in your back. It's retaliation. And so let's look at the actual write-up, right? So I'll, I'll preface it. So here I am. I'm a new agent. It's about it's about nine months into, uh, um, it's about nine months into life at the uh, Department of Sanitation. And about about the six month point, I filed a claim for uh, for discrimination and. Um, <clears throat> that's what the whole case is about. This is Conti versus DSNY. I'm the plaintiff. All right, so I, once I filed this case, these write-ups started to come fast and furious. Game of pin and tail on the Conti. So this particular write-up, one day I was out on uh, patrol, and there was a, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> something, <laughs> wait a second, I got to refuel. So there's a new, a new summons came down the pipe at uh, DSNY. It's called e-waste. Right? So now in New York City you can write someone for e-waste. And um, so I was out there and I was, uh, you know, I, I, I came across one of these um, these unusual all-in-one kind of copy printer fax machines. You know, these big things with wires sticking out, right? And and um, so I was like, well, is it is it a copier? Is it a printer? It's an all-in-one. So it's actually all of them. But just to make sure, what I did was I did my job and I called on, in on the radio and I said, I, I talked to the lieutenant, right, the, 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 the boss in charge of the thing at the time, right? So I, I spoke to Alvin Amiskita, Mr. Al, Alvin Amiskita, again, strikes again, right? So so I speak to him on the, on the, on the broadcast, hundreds of people, hundreds of agents and Supervisor, all the people are listening to the conversation. I have this conversation with him. I said, "Look, I, f I stumbled on one of these all-in-one things. Right? It's a printer. It's a copy. I don't know what the hell it is. Uh, can someone help me identify it?" Right. So, so I wait, I wait, I wait, and then someone comes back. He comes back and says, "Oh, it's not. It's not e-waste. It's not an e-waste summons." So, so if it's not e-waste, right? If it doesn't qualify for a summons for e-waste, it's sitting out on the on the sidewalk, ready to be picked up, but it's the wrong day, right? It's 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 supposed to like for example, it's, the pickup is Monday, but it's sitting out there on Tuesday, right? So that's what's that's a, that's a different violation. That's called uh, failure to store. S18. So I write I write the ticket for that because it's sitting out on the street. It's not supposed to be there. It's not e-waste because why? Because my supervisor just told me it's not e-waste, right? No one comes to the scene. No one comes to help you. So, so that's how it went, right? So, so I, and that was the end of it, right? So, what happens when I get back? Now we're going to listen to that. Here, here's what. Well, let's say, here's here's I received a write up for this, right? So, well, you know what? Let's listen to the let's listen to the recording. Let's listen to um, the the actual supervisor who who did this. Her name is uh, Marisol C. Concepcion. Marisol C. Concepcion. Miss Concepcion, right there, right? So we're gonna look, we're gonna look, and we're gonna listen to her 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 write-up. So let, let let's hear her in her own words. Ready? Okay, um, that's the write-out of work for this six. 
Which one? The one at 65 West 69th Street. You did observe a large industrial size printer. Mm -hmm. That was not a large industrial size printer. That was an e way summons. I reissued the summons. So I didn't get awarded out. And put it like, you, did you? Okay, so so right there. So again, this is gaslighting. This is changing the meaning of things. This is they they're looking for a write up, right? So the woman, she she first of all, this this particular person wasn't my supervisor right, that day, right? She was somebody else. She was I I, I had said Amosquita is the, he's the he's the guy in charge of the 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 nine to five shift. He's the lieutenant, quote lieutenant. And this is a supervisor from six to two, right? And as I said, there's a little, a little of this going on between these two, right? <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, right? So, so she comes, following. I, as I said, she came following me around after I wrote this summons, right? After I wrote the summons, right? After I did what I, I called it in, I tried to clarify. She comes, following me. She comes and then she, she makes me print out all my tickets. We have a C. And rather than well, let's go look at the let's go look at the thing, she, you know, like I had asked earlier, she comes to see all of my tickets, and then she takes that ticket and she goes back and she 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 looks at this particular situation, right, right. Now again, you hear her say that was not a uh, a printer, it was not a copier, it was like look, I called it in, it's an all in one, and I'm asking them what the fuck is it? Can you come, please, somebody come and identify, it, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'm just no. You said copier. Did not say printer. On the, when you called on the radio. So she, so yeah, copier, printer, printer, copier, fax machine. I told her it's an all in one. It's you know it's it's one of those things with fucking wires. Like I said, it's an all in one. It's a copier. It's a printer. It's all of the above, right? So it fits the it fits the. the again, this is what gaslighting is. They don't allow people to think and use. Judgment. So you're standing there. You don't know what the fuck it is. So you call it in, right? You said copier. There's a difference. A copier, a printer. Listen. If you have look, all of the audio is recorded. Bring up the bring the radio. Get the radio recording. It's there. Everybody heard it. And mosquito was. I was having a conversation with him about copier, a printer. Uh, okay. So a fax machine. You understand what I'm trying to say? What did I say? What is a copier? A copier. Copier is not on the oh, sheet. Okay. And on, on the sheet. Oh, that, no, but I'm just saying on the sheet that was given. Do you have one? See, this is very important. You see how what gaslighting is right now. Like I, I, as I said, I don't give a shit about these people. I don't. I don't care. You know, if if you know, if I'm, you know, the last thing I want is to be seen in their eyes as respectable or politically correct, right? But at the time, at the time, that's your job, right? And you're trying to be respectable, and you hear me immediately succumb to the gaslighting. It's like, well, did I hear what I thought I heard? Did I, I, you know? And you're trying to be agreeable. You're trying to be agreeable. You reach out to the supervisor, and then when you do, they stick the knife in your back, just like this, right? So that's what's going on. I'm, I'm not argument, arguing with her. I'm, I'm asking her for clarification. And this is what they do to you. They stick it in your back. I had it. I, I okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make you a copy of another one. Yeah, it's in the, I wish I could go into the handheld, but then you'd have to go back. So I, I, I know it's in the handheld. If I would have went into the handheld, I would have seen the options. Right? Okay, because. But, but, if, then, but then if that option isn't there, i got to avoid the ticket. Yeah, that, uh, and the option is not there. Because this is the only thing. This is the only thing that you can write for. Televisions, tablets, cable boxes, printers. Monitors, mobile phones, keyboards, fax machines, computers. Look, those all in ones, they copy, they print, they fax, they do all of that shit, right? We know all that. Okay. What it looked like was it looked like one of those multi things, those multi things that connect to your computer, that does printing, that does copying, that you know what I mean? That's what it looked like. Yeah. So I didn't think it was right out of So there, I, I tell her, that that's what it looked like, and what does she do? She rolls right over the explanation. She just goes right, I need you to Fill out the, the 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 what she did was she went back and voided it and wrote it for she voided my S eighteen and wrote it for e waste. Right up the void. For the yes. Sentence. So now we're voiding the ticket. And I'm gonna make a copy of this as I have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's uh, error. Error. Right. Oh, 
Iran in, in uh, Iran code reissue. And then that's some of the last some of the number that I put on the bottom. Following orders. I have one for Monday because it's not working. I think it. Yeah, I think it's See, what she's saying also is also you're supposed to, there's a, there was a piece of paper that had the, a list of all of these things, the copy of the printer. She just read it to you. So so now it's my fault that I wasn't ca carrying the piece of paper. It's always your fault. You did it. It's your fucking fault. Always. I think copy that piece of paper. Yeah, with the, with the, the paper that you showed me. Oh, let me yeah, try to find it. Like, I'm sure I have it. No, I'll give you one, but the thing is that the print, though, is messed up right oh. now, so I can't, I can't really make a copy. So her print is messed up, so I can't have a copy. But I have a few. Jerk off. All right, so there you heard the conversation, right? That was that was the there's no there was that was the end of it. There was no disciplinary. There was no write up. There was no rap. So what happens? A couple of weeks later, I get this. This is, a, is the this is the most. This is a a. Uh, <laughs> DS-249, this is the most severe possible write-up you could possibly get. And what did I give her? This is the incident, right? So she goes back and says this. <clears throat> in that on Saturday, August 29, 2015, SCA Mark Conti, working in Manhattan Zone 9-5 to Tour, wrote a printer for an S-18 violation. I, Sergeant M. Concepcion, performed my sergeant duties and made a backtrack of summonses. Summons number, and then there's a summons number. I had to void the summons out, and I reissued for e-waste. So she's re reinstating all the shit that we just talked about, right? But it, that's, not really, that's not really a violation of anything. So what did I violate? So here's, here's, the, here's the things that I did, right? Failed to... 311, failure to accurately maintain department forms, reports, and records. What the fuck are you talking about? What accurately, what form, report, or record? It doesn't even make sense, right? And then two, failed, failure to promptly and properly perform assigned duties and complete assigned task. What duty? What task? I call... So... So you see it. Yeah, look, I, I don't have to explain it to you. It's it's self-explanatory. The the what happened, right? And then what the write-up was for, they don't make sense, right? It's it's an agent who reaches out to his supervisor and then gets gets a knife in the back in the most severe write-up. Now, why is this important? Because first of all, this is one of nine fake write-ups that were issued to me that and and, and and that led to unsatisfactory performance evaluations that led to my firing, led to termination. The most severe thing you could do to somebody, you fire them for this. This is what I was fired for, right? Folks, this is called gaslighting, right? It's it's emotional it's emotional abuse, right? It's it's let me let's 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 just let's just go one step further and I'll tell you what. Let's try to let's try to what is gaslighting? I'm using this term gaslighting. Gaslighting. It's a form of manipulation that seeks to sow seeds of doubt in a targeted individual or in members of a targeted group, right? Hoping to make them question their own memory, their own perception, and their own sanity. Using persistent denial, misdirection, contradiction, and lying. It attempts to destabilize the target and delegitimize the target's belief right that's what they do that's how they see so again this, the, how do they maintain a, an illegal quota for so many years it's by doing these things you heard mr burke gaslight his crowd uh, in in that recording he goes in front of the audience he goes in front of the crowd and says oh there is you know everybody knows foot patrol is punishment foot patrol is is the same as as um as block facing is the same as second it's all the same but 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 he's gaslighting you. He's saying it doesn't. Oh, it's not. It's not punishment. No, it's not punitive at all. No, it's sergeant. Can you tell me what what gaslight what what gaslighting is? I just told you. But can you tell me what 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 uh, what what uh, what uh, foot patrol? You know. So it's this is gaslighting, right? This is this is it's a form. They claim to be a quasi-military 
operation. But in the military, you know what you're signing up for. You know you're signing away your civil and and, and rights of liberty and, and all that. You know that. This is a civil service job. This is not the fucking military. This is not the police force. This is not a, a jail. Okay. So that's all. So um, have a nice day. one at 65 West 69th Street. You did observe a large industrial size printer. That was not a large industrial size printer. That was an e-way summons. I reissued the summons. So I just need to get it watered out. And Wait, I, are you, did you hear the radio? I, I'll, I'll do it. I'm just... No, you said copier. You did not say printer. On the, When you called on the radio, you yeah, said the copier. Thing. There's a difference. A copier... A printer, a fax machine. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? What did I say it was? A copier. A copier, a copier is copy. not on the oh, sheet. Okay. And on, on the sheet. Oh, that, no, but I'm just saying on the sheet that was given. Do you have one? I, I had it. I, I didn't okay, what well, I'm going to do, I'm going to make you a copy of a, another one. Yeah, it's in the. I wish I could go into the handheld, but then you'd have to go back. So I, I, I know it's in the handheld. If I would have went into the handheld, I would have seen the options. Okay, because... But, but, if then it, but then if that option isn't there, i got to avoid the ticket. Yeah, that, oh, and the option is not there. Okay. Because this is the only thing... Right, sure. This is the only thing that you can write for. Televisions, tablets, cable boxes, printers, monitors, mobile phones, keyboards, fax machines, computers, hardware. What it would look like was... It looked like one of those multi-things, those multi-things that connect to your computer, that does printing, that does yeah. copying, that, you know what I mean? That's what it looks like. Yeah, so I just need to write out the summons. Right at the void. Yes. Sense. That's it. And I'm gonna make you a copy of this as I have. So it's uh, era. Right. Era in in uh, era in code reissue. And then that summons number, the last summons number that I put on the bottom. Right. I'll make it. I have one for Monday because yeah. it's not working. I'll take it. I'll take a copy of that piece of paper. Uh, with the, with the, you know, the, the paper that you showed me, the e-waste e e thing. Oh, let yeah, me try to find it. Like, I'm sure I have it. No, I'll give you one, but the uh, thing is that the printer is messed up right uh, now, so I can't, I can't uh, get the copy. But I have one for you one day.